Hey there, fellow traders. Welcome back to Insider Financial. I'm Alex Carlson, and in this video, we will recap the day's stock market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But before we dive in to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you'll get a welcome email which includes a free copy of our ebook. Our ebook, our email service and our text messaging service are all free service from Insider Financial. We don't run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no discord rooms or telegram chat groups. And speaking of reports, we sent out an alert this afternoon to subscribers. The stock closed up 12%. This is why it's so important to sign up for our alert service so you never miss these types of plays. While it's not a huge runner, I think most folks uh, will take what they can in this market. It certainly has been an ugly start to 2024 in the markets. This should be somewhat expected though as markets rallied last year. A lot of investors made big money, especially in the magnificent seven stocks. The, those seven have all sold off to start the new year. I see this more as profit taking than anything else. Why sell last year and pay the taxes when you can sell the beginning of this year and lock in the gains? The only real strength that I am seeing right now at the moment is in Bitcoin and Bitcoin plays. The chatter is that a spot Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved by the SEC any day now, and that has lifted sentiment. Uh, notice the sell-off in Bitcoin on Tuesday when it topped out here just under 46,000 uh, and then they came in and bought the dip and we're right here just under 44,000. Uh, again, when they're buying the dip like this, this is the sign that we are in a bull market. But again, uh, the only concern that I have is uh, that it could be buy the rumor, sell the news so that if it is approved, uh, that could uh, sell off. I think it's actually bearish for uh, Coinbase. Why would you go through the hassle of opening up a Coinbase account when you can just buy the ETF if you want exposure to Bitcoin? But we shall see uh, how this all plays out. In terms of stocks overall, they ended lower again today ahead of tomorrow's jobs data. Uh, economists are forecasting 168,000 job additions for the month and expect the unemployment rate at 3.8%. As the market has priced in six rate cuts over the past two months, it would be bad news if the jobs report came in too strong, including elevated wage growth, as it would mean that the Fed may be unable to cut as rapidly as the market expects. On the other hand, the job market needs to remain strong enough to hint at a soft landing or no landing. After all, the market has priced in a scenario where the Fed is able to cut into strength, but a scenario where it is uh, forced to cut. Uh, Costco today, we got uh, sales numbers after the close. Uh, the company reported that December sales rose 9.9% year over year to 26 0.15 billion helped by a jump in its e-commerce business with sales for the 17 weeks ending December 31st coming in at 82.86 billion a 5.9 percent gain the membership retail chain said that in December same source sales overall rose 8.5 percent with a 5.2 inc uh, increase for those 17 weeks e-commerce sales in December were up 17.7 percent shares rose 0.8 percent after hours why am I talking about this? This is the uh, sign of the uh, health of the consumer, and it is strong. They spent last month, so that is indeed uh, a, a positive sign and a positive that the Fed is uh, coordinating a soft landing. From my last video, a couple of stocks that I talked about, uh, Alt, A-L-T, was up big. Uh, not big. Again, nothing's big right now. Uh, I know some low float runners are, are running up 100%, but again, these are one and done plays uh, on news. And then typically, especially in biotech, then you're getting an offering. So I wouldn't be chasing uh, these low float runners right now. 
Uh, ALT was up 17%. Nice day today. Uh, verge of, on the verge of new recent highs, 20.85% uh, of the float is short. So again, uh, we get above, I talked about this one last week, uh, above 1250. Uh, we're going to really, really get the sh uh, short scrambling. Uh, GSAT, G-S-A-T, we're getting more insider buying. I posted this on uh, on uh, on stock tweets about the uh, insider buying. Uh, James Lynch, a director, buying, you know, 167, 170, 173, $1.93, all buying. And uh, again, these are $416,000 buy, $847,000 buy, $863,000 buy, and almost a $1 million buy. So again, this is bullish uh, and why I say to put this on your radar screen. We're consolidating above here. Uh, a lot of people are talking about that GSAC could be a big winner uh, this year. In terms of stocks that I covered uh, last time, like I said, uh, MicroStrategy, uh, you know, sold off uh, peaked above 720, pulled all the way to back to 630. Uh trading right now at 655 again these are great swing trade opportunities uh bitcoin right now this is where everyone's focused on this is a hot sector right now and uh going to give you plenty of trading opportunities uh fisker again i had highlighted this one we were attempting to squeeze the shorts i uh, couldn't get above two dollars the stock is sold off and this is really on the back of the overall market weakness, you know, when the when the SPY, QQQ are all selling off, it's really hard to get those short squeezes uh, happening. Uh, you know, you need a bullish market, and then that's when you know you just retail's buying. You get instant, you know, the short sellers scrambling, uh, and right now there's just not that urgency for them to scramble with the overall market selling off, and we're seeing that also in some of our big runners from last. Uh, last quarter, uh, Carvana was down again, a firm down again, and uh, U Upstart, UPST uh, down again. So again, making these rounding tops. So again, just a lot of charts, you know, I've gone through just very, very bearish uh, price action. Uh, you look here at the uh, uh, the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, again, just getting this rounding bottom, uh, you know, you got this gap almost filled here um hopefully this will be a sign of support and we bounce but again a lot of it is going to be the jobs data tomorrow that is really going to be very very important and it is going to be market moving in terms of new stocks that i am watching uh QuantumScape, uh, QS was out with news today, uh, news on their battery, which was indeed positive. Stock was up 43%. This is indeed a trend line breakout. So I think we're going to see uh, more uh, upside in QS uh, going forward. Uh, ACET had news today. This was indeed uh, big news, uh, just a $93 million market cap. Uh, the company has updated the cash runway into the second half of next year. Um, um, they're expanding clinical development of ADI-001 into autoimmune diseases following clearance of uh, IND, plan to initiate phase one clinical stru uh, study, second quarter of this year, uh, focusing enrollment on mental cell uh, lymphoma in ongoing uh, phase one clinical trial given favorable complete response rate, durability, and safety. Uh, and looking at the chart, again, this is just creeping up here. Uh, I think uh, we're now above the... Uh, uh, the 50-day uh, ne next target is the 200-day moving average of uh, 313. But again, this one here last year was as high as 953. So I think uh, this one here is rounding bottom here. I think the worst is behind uh, that company. I think we're going to see more upside. Uh, GCS, GCT, uh, talking about, I talked about this one last month, broke through the consolidation here at 14. Uh, we're, we're on the verge of here, uh, new highs, or we made new highs today. Stock was up 10%. Again, nice, slow, steady climb. Uh, really like the price action in GCT. 21.77% of the float is short. Again, we're not getting these huge moves, but again, uh, it's just a slow, steady grind, and, and that's the best thing you can hope for right now in the markets. Uh, 
Uh, CCCC, this is another one from last month. Uh, the stock is consolidating uh, right here. A $25 million investment closed. 19% of the float is short. So uh, keep this one on your radar screen uh, for more upside uh, going forward. And again, uh, a lot of these are coming from screeners. Uh, again, short squeezes. Talking about this one, you can see uh, this here is the uh, you know high short percentage over 20%. Uh, DYN uh, squeezing the shorts. BHG, ALT, which I've been covering uh, nonstop, and then Mara. Uh, this one really nice moves here from $20. You know, sold off, uh, rallied to $30 on on the Bitcoin run to. Uh, 46,000 sold off down to 20 on the pullback. We're at 26. These are great swings right now. Uh, and again, you got to take what you can in this market. Uh, it's a little bit difficult and uh, we're just trying to help you guys as, as much as, as possible. And again, you can go and check out all our videos. Uh, there's a video I talk about how to formulate your trading plan with stock screeners. I covered last month. I'm going to be talking more about educational videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And in terms of uh, stocks, you know, I will also be scanning pre-market. Uh, and if I see anything new to add, uh, I will let subscribers know it's the fastest way way to let you guys know so make sure you sign up and again it is completely free uh, go to click that link in the description or go to sign up.insiderfinancial.com and here at insider financial we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves as i repeatedly stated there are always opportunities in the markets daily the important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money the key is trading green not red we are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts it's all about finding momentum before it happens and riding that wave that's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And to get our small cap reports, we cover low float, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. And remember, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.